Why is Finnovation? Due to world events, Finnovation Laboratories has had a lot of extra time for research. And I was on Tri Engineering the other day, and I saw popsicle bridges. And that made me wonder. The obvious question is... The obvious question is, why are there so many types of bridges, and what are their strengths and weaknesses? Yeah. So in this video, we'll be showing you how to make a really cool popsicle bridge, and explaining the principles and the strengths and weaknesses behind different types of bridges. Let's get into it. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm kind of going to be building a combination between all three of those bridges. So I'm going to be using popsicle sticks, um, obviously as my main thing. I'm going to be using some um, wood snippers. These are going to help me cut off the end or cut them in half or whatever. Um, I'm not just using scissors because a lot of times when you use scissors, they crack more than they cut. And I'll be using a glue gun. This will be my base for... Um, like how far I'm going to make the bridge. It's going to be 14 inches and I might need to make this a little bit taller. I might need to make it shorter. I don't know, but let's get into it. Then how many types of popsicle sticks are you going to use? Oh, I'm going to use two types of popsicle sticks. Good point. So I have these ones, which are a bit smaller and these ones, which are a bit bigger. So I'm going to be using them in combination. I might use these for the triangles because triangles are great shapes for this. And I'm going to be using the regular ones for just the platform going across. Let's get into it. Okay, so we just completed our bridge and it looks pretty great. So how we built this was we had a beam just going across there that we made with some popsicle sticks going this way. We covered it up with a few more popsicle sticks. We made an arch and the bottom beams. So on the arch, that would be having tension. So that means that it's being pulled. And then on the bottom, it would be having compression. So that means it's being pushed. And the combination of those two makes a really strong bridge. We also try to use a lot of triangles because triangles are just a really strong shape. Yes, they are. So in total, this is 16 inches long. The gap is 14 inches, but we had an inch on each side to make sure it was steady. And in total, we used 154 popsicle sticks. And of that, we'd be 42 big and 112 small ones. With that said, let's get testing. I'm going to try a 10 pound weight first. Um, with all these little um, pieces on the top here, it does make it a bit harder to do. But... Yep, 10 is pretty easy. How are we going to do anything else, though? Ben. You know what? I'm just going to step on it. That's it. All right. So I am going to do this kind of slow. Um, I weigh about 110 pounds, a little bit um, less. So if it can hold me, we know it's pretty strong. My dad here is going to help me stand. Okay, that's 110 pounds. So as you guys can see, I can't really balance on it too much because it's a really small um, beam. My dad's barely holding me here, but um, I can balance on it. So there we go. I say that's a pretty strong bridge. Wow, I cannot believe that that bridge held me. That's crazy. Bridge, and that actually reminds me of a documentary I saw on TV. Really? Yeah, it was very suspenseful. <laughs> that's funny. It, it, no, really, it was. It was suspenseful. Well, it, it, it's kind of funny because, like, suspense and bridge, like, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!